everybody welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing great having a great uh, day or evening and this is the end of oh september <laughs> i was almost gonna say august and it is time for my completed pages for the month of september and yeah i'm just gonna get started as i as um i say in every video if you do like what you see please feel free to subscribe like and comment okay so i'm just going to get started on the first book and the first book actually this is um all books are from um amazon this book is um japanese but um it's described as like the well i've seen it around as the momo girls momo or momo um, it's a beautiful book, and they really had it on, they have this one and another one. The deal, I've been looking at this book, and I guess, well, this one is, it is paperback, but the quality is really, really good. The paper is really, really excellent. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. But like I said, this is not a new book. Okay, so the first picture that I did was here, right here, this girl. Okay, so now this was done for um, Yunam and the um, Monet, the Coloring Divas Facebook group. And she had a spotlight, we were doing spotlight pencils. We all voted on what pencils to use for the month, so we chose Derwent. So this is all done in the, um, the Derwent, uh, you see I have I don't have the whole set but I have some Derwent light fast so this is prim primarily done in the Derwent pencils um, I love this book it's also very nicely shaded so this it came out well to me really pretty because of the, the shading of course I did use stickles I don't know if you can see for the flower um trying to see what else yeah that's pretty much it um stickles you know anything with glitter that is primarily either gel pens or stickles so that's the first one i think i do one out of this in at least i think for the month i'm pretty much doing working in worlds of wonders johanna basford's which is a beautiful book and I did, let me see, I think I did two, yeah, did I? I did do two, so. Okay, yeah, this page right here. Um, trying to remember. I can't remember the brand of the pencils. Um, it may have been a mixture, like I said before, I do use a mixture of Prisma colors and RT, you know, they mix, our mixture. Um, but I also use some, uh, what do you call this? Some, uh, well, glitter pen, some, um, what I talked about before, the Nouveau. I love these Nouveau crystal drops. They just add a lot of, um, kind of like that 3D effect. I don't know if you see it much on the camera, but it's really um, fun. And it was really fun doing this picture. I love, as we, I know a lot of us do coloring the flowers and let's see the background the background i believe was i think this was pencil or maybe it was i don't i don't know if it was it was just sorry it was either distress ink the mini one or it was pencil and then the next picture and i think that this month i'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do, I know I see people doing um, what they're gonna color, what they plan to color for October. Of course, I know we're all getting our, our autumn books and Halloween books, so I will have that coming up soon. This is the other picture I did. And this was not very difficult, so I figured, you know, that's why I did two out of this book for this month. So this right here, um, Pretty much, you know, the same, um, you know, I, I know I say this every month, but the, the same, you know, pencils. I believe this was Distress Ink for the background. 
glitter, of course, for the stars, the star effect. And yeah, it was, this is a beautiful book, so that's why I usually have, um, I always have this in my colored pages. And um, definitely will have this for doing another page for next month. Okay, so um, we had another body color um, done in uh, the Coloring Divas Facebook group. And we had a Spotlight Artist of the Month who is Jerea Draw. Well, <laughs> Jerea Draws, I know she's on Instagram, um, who does all the coloring chicks books. So we could choose any book of hers that we wanted to. So I chose the color in oceans, mermaids. Um, her books, I mean, are so, they're beautiful. All her, all her images are so beautiful. So this is the one that I chose to color and, um, okay. So the hair, I remember definitely done a marker. Now I, I like this picture, but I'm not, oops, I'm not 100% happy. Well, we're never 100% happy, but I feel like I could have, um, there's glitter in there, of course, stickles, but I feel like with the background, I kind of messed up with the, you know, that water effect I was going for. <laughs> it kind of, it's okay. It's, it's coloring and it's fun and it's relaxing. So that's the main thing. But yeah, this is the picture I chose from our uh, group color along. And usually these books um, from Zarea are in also my monthly colorings. I usually do one at least um, from her books. Okay, the next one is another artist I like, illustrator. Grazia Salvo. I'm so glad that her books um, became available on Amazon. Like I was so happy because um, the Etsy store ones are a bit pricey for me. Um, so this is from Loveliness. And I just did um, this girl right here. Very simple, but, and I didn't do a background on this one. I just kept it plain. But yeah, very simple but pretty. Um, I know I used alcohol marker for the hair. Alcohol marker, uh, yeah, for her shirt. I know this was the Arteza Everblend, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the pastel for the shirt. And I did pencils, various uh, pencils. For the, um, the flower, and yeah, I liked how she came out. So like I said, this is another artist that I really like. Her um, illustrations are really um, beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, I did another one. I don't even remember this. You know, when you do things at the beginning of the month. So, okay, this is Fairy and Fantasy 3 Grayscale Edition by, um, Christine Karen. Okay, let me see. Oh, yes, this is it. Okay. This, <laughs> I'm going to say, this is one I'm not, I, not too crazy about either. I'll explain why, though. Okay, so I felt I was doing good doing the hair. I used alcohol markers, the skin. Um, what happened is when it came down to this, um, she's called Fairy and Fantasy. She's called Dream Weaver. Um, but it, for me, the lines became a little um, blurred as far as like where the, you know, as far as like her hair. And then I know there was like ribbons. It looks like ribbons, you know, rippling through. So then it's like, I just... <laughs> I kind of just did the whole thing in the and I colored it pink with marker, um, alcohol markers, and then I just kind of 
started outlining the feathers I could see, of course, in the dream catcher, but I feel like, let's just say it wasn't my favorite, but I did want to show it because I mean, I don't feel it was like a hundred, I don't feel like it was total, you know, bust, but kind of this part I'm not happy with. Anyway, we live and learn, right? So that was, yeah, from Fairy and Fantasy 3 by Christine Karen. Now this one, I stepped out of, let me see. This is a new one from um, Hannah Carlson, Grains of Gold, beautiful book. Um, this is the one where she has 11 new drawings. Now I don't have all of her books, so I don't uh, know which ones are old or which ones are new, kind of. But this, I will show you the, actually, I know it's the first one. Okay, so I said out of my comfort zone because I don't really draw men. Well, I don't see a lot of men. I heard another um, person I was watching say they don't see a lot of men on, co on coloring books. But I don't know, for some reason, I just feel like he, I don't know, it's okay. But I need to work on like, I guess my men coloring, <laughs> man coloring skills. Um, and I feel like the background, I should have used another type of medium. I think I used marker and it felt like it came out streaky. Anyway, you know, we're our own worst critics, right? But yeah, this is the page I did. I don't know why, let me see. I don't know if this is, oh, I did do another page. Sometimes you realize that you're like, oh, I did more than I thought. I think I was so upset about <laughs> the, the man didn't come out too good. I said, let me draw another, I mean, let me um, color another one. So this is the one I colored. Um, I like how she came out. I, I'm, yeah, how she came out. Um, I know that, oh, for her hair, definitely it was pencils. Um, and I don't use alcohol markers on um, Hannah Carlson books unless I'm not wanting really to save the other page because of course if you do you will mess up your page so um, this is mostly you can see throughout it's a glitter and the stickle um, right there yeah so anyway I thought this was a really really beautiful um, illustration so yeah that helped me to overcome my I felt like what I did on the other page that I made a mess of it. This is a beautiful book though. This is Grains of Gold. And we have two more to go. And Whimsy Girls celebrates the holidays. And this is another, well, this is a year long, year long color alarm that um, we are doing in the Coloring Divas Facebook group. Again, Monet. So, can't believe we're almost like going into October. So this was, oh no, is this it? Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. This is the page we did for this month. Okay, and you know, for her, but anyone that doesn't know for Hannah Lynn, you get the two options. You get the one with the detailed background, you can have the one with the more plainer background. Okay. So I decided, I I like how she came out. Um, she's, you know, they're so fun to color, um, but I did watercolor for the background. I was going for like a kind of gold type of effect. Um, it's all right. I feel like it came out a little patchy. I know, I feel like this is like a self-critical <laughs> every page, <laughs> but, I'm not saying in any way they didn't have fun. You know, that's what it's all about. Relieving stress and having fun. And I did. So this is the page I did for, um, yeah, for this, uh, for this month. And wow, so we're already, oh my gosh, we're already, like I said, we'll all be doing our Halloween fall colorings. And next and last, but not least, is 
um, I like Demita Victoria. And she comes up with a lot of books. I wish I could get them all. Magical Unicorns. When I saw this one, um, she did a flip through, I believe, on her channel or an Instagram. I can't remember which one. Uh, it was so, so pretty. Like, I couldn't resist. I actually posted this one. I don't always post on Instagram. I'm bad with doing that. But this one I posted on Instagram. And it was this one. Um, I just, you know, the unicorns are just so pretty. You know, that magical and you could just color them any color you want. So I basically, you know, I did like, I wanted to make the unicorns kind of like this blue purplish kind of vibe thingy going on. And then the hair, pink, purplish, of course. And this, I definitely know, I remember I used um, the Arteza Everblends um, pastel. And let's see, the background, I believe I used maybe pencils. You know, I always say I'm going to write it down. I'm sorry, I never do. Um, but yeah, this is the one I did. Of course, I have, you know, like I say, you have to add, add your sparkle and your stickles. I have to put stickles in like every page or it's, I feel like it's just not finished. So anyway, that is, that is all the coloring that I did for the month. I always feel like, I hope I did not leave anything out. I don't know if any of you are like that. Um, but I believe this, yeah, this is it. So thank you so, so much for watching. And like I said, I think in my next video, I will do what I plan to color for October. And also I will be watching all of your finished coloring for the month. I hope you're having a great evening or day. Stay safe, I hope, stay safe. Uh, I can't talk, stay safe. God bless you all. And thank you so much for watching.